I'm going to bring up your headliner now. Uh, no, she not only does she have a fantastic ass, uh, she is very lovely. She's very, very funny. Uh, and I met her before when she was in Vancouver a while back, and I'm like, I need to book this girl because she is absolutely fucking hilarious. And she is lovely and very talented. She is from L.A. She makes her home there. Uh, she uh, has regularly performed at the world-famous comedy store. Uh, and she does a lot of things. And she is very funny. And she is here for you guys tonight. Guys, girls, you're going to love her. Please make her feel nice and warm and welcome in New Westminster Laugh Lines. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Natasha Pearl Hansen. <laughs> You better kneel after you talk about my ass. <laughs> I know what everybody's looking at right now. <laughs> I like to thank the girls in the back here for entertaining me while Shirley was on stage. They were like, oh my gosh, she's totally Phoebe. Friends went off the air nine years ago. <laughs> Is Canada actually that far behind? It's pretty exciting, yeah? Is that true? I know, I went into the, the fashion store next door. What is that thing? That Navy and Army stuff? <laughs> the fuck is that? We were driving to the hotel this morning and I was like, oh cool, there's shopping here. I walked in there and I was like, this is the grossest stuff I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> but people come here to, go, to hunt? Is that? It's all camouflage and it doesn't match any of the surroundings. It's weird. I don't know, I'm just ornery. I've been traveling all day. I found out I was pregnant over Christmas, so uh, if anybody wants to fuck me after the show, at least you know it's not yours. Right. I'm actually not pregnant, but I'm not safe at all, so I'm gonna be soon, so I'm just trying to prep my mind, which is it's working a little bit. I got out of a terrible relationship a little bit ago. It happens in LA, there's a lot of bad people out there. We fought all the time, there's one day we were fighting, he's like, I hate fighting with you. All you ever do is deny, question, excuse. Deny, question, excuse. I was like, I do not. Do you really think I do that? I'm just fucking tired. <laughs> you know you really start to hate somebody you live with too and they're doing something every day and the one day you see it, you, you're like, I gotta kill this person. He played this WWF wrestling game where you have to move on the joystick, on the like Xbox, where you move the joystick really quickly to keep somebody pinned. And he would just do this for hours on end and I would catch myself staring at him with my jaw down. <laughs> One day he looks over at me, he's like, what the fuck are you staring at? I'm like, that, why can't you do that to my vagina? <laughs> and his response was, your vagina doesn't get me a championship belt. <laughs> All right, so the next day my vindictive ass went to Michael's craft store, I bought a giant piece of leather, kind of the shape of a championship belt, but dazzled the fuck out of the middle of that thing. Came home with it slung over my shoulder, walk in, he's like, what's that? I'm like, it's a championship belt, bitch, get to work. Thank you. He did not win that belt, so I'd like to say I, uh, I moved on. I'm in a really good relationship now, which is nice. We have a really good sex life, but sometimes that can cause some problems. Like the other day, we were making this maneuver and my stomach hurt, and I looked down and I realized it was just all the dried jizz pulling the hairs out of my stomach. I just thought that was like an at-home waxing kit that came with a relationship. I don't know. Apparently you're supposed to hose that shit off, ladies. <laughs> I got to start working out because I found out a teaspoon of semen has got five to seven calories. Five to, that's more than cinnamon. Five to seven calories. The day I found that out, I was like, I got to hire a nutritionist. This would make a great food journal entry. <laughs> What'd you have today? Breakfast, oatmeal, snack, semen. <laughs> How much? I don't know. It's hard to measure when it's being injected down your throat really quickly, but it was... It was a significant amount because there was enough for some spillover. You know, like when you feed a baby? <laughs> like when you feed a baby and it keeps regurgitating shit and you gotta keep that little plastic spoon around in case and wipe its mouth and re force it right back in. You have that like five minute struggle where it's like, you're just getting mad and you're like, shake it! Then finally then they just give up and you just hear that thick, heavy, like gross swallow that <laughs> like, you, like you bought a milkshake at McDonald's too early in the morning and had to run errands. It's been chilling in your car all day and you come back to it five hours later and you're like, better, better drink that anyway. <laughs> Paid for it. I <laughs> know, oh, I found out gagging burns eight calories so ladies were losing weight by the process. So keep your men happy, what? 
I know. The day I found out I was going to be single, I was like, I, I was like, I'm going to have some fun with this. I'm going to go on just a blowjob rampage. <laughs> that's not slutty. It's just fun. <laughs> but when I'm done with everyone, I'm going to look up from it all creepy and go... <laughs> And then just leave their house. I was like, I want to start. I want to start this really awesome game of telephone where everybody's just like, yeah, some chick come over, suck the shit out of my dick. It was like, dick sucked by Satan or something. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Yeah. Who is this random? Yeah. Have you always wanted this to happen? If so, God bless you. It's amazing. You're like, finally, somebody else with the same ambition. Uh, relationships are hard. I wish you could just fuck people and shoot them afterwards. It would make life so much easier. Ladies, we have it so hard. It's so hard to come when you have to pass gas. Ever experienced this? Or your man's down there and he's like, hmm, I want all of it, baby. And you're like, no, you don't. <laughs> Why don't you come kiss me? That's what that means when somebody's like, no, come up here and kiss me. It means they just want you out of the bomb zone. I don't know, when I, <laughs> when I moved to LA, everyone was trying to teach me how to surf and it was kind of weird. Like, I look like I fucking want to surf in your town. Uh, I'm from Chicago originally. Does anyone know where that is? It's canon, okay. It's kind of like this, but there and things stay open later, I don't know. Um, I, I moved to LA and I had this surf instructor and I, he was like, you're never gonna surf if you can't commit to the wave, you gotta learn to commit to the wave, you really gotta commit to the wave. And finally I was like, as long as that wave doesn't call me a cunt and eat all my Fruit Loops when it's high, <laughs> probably not gonna be that hard. All right, switch gears, I'm a quarter black, I read a quarter of my Facebook status is in all caps. <laughs> is there any, is, there, is the two black people still here? Yeah, awesome. Are you the pregnant one too? No, I'm oh, okay. Who is? Somebody in that corner is. Woo! Is it you? Congratulations. <laughs> Are you just mad that you can't drink, huh? Maybe she's oh yeah, eventually. I probably won't know. I'll just drink it out of my system before. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, a raisin. <laughs> That's so gross. Why did I say that? <laughs> right, Facebook guy, Facebook's fun, but I, I cannot stay on Twitter, and it's something you have to do when you're a comedian, and my Twitter is at NPH Comedy. My initials are NPH, Natasha Pearl Hansen. I was uh, telling all these people at shows, you know, follow me at NPH Comedy, follow me. Nobody was following me, and I was getting really pissed. And then I found out I spelt my own initials wrong. This is a true story. <laughs> I had them spelt wrong for a year. You know that lady that comes on TV for Westwood Community College, and she's like, if I could do it. <laughs> Anybody could do it. <laughs> to find out you're just a notch dumber than that is a really good reason to get drunk on a Tuesday. I can't even spell three letters. It's not even my name, it's three letters. Hmm. I don't know, I, I, uh, I really am old school. I love post-it notes. I love sticking them to my wall. That's how I do my things. You know, I, When I'm done with something, I remove that post-it, I throw it in the garbage. One of my girlfriends comes over one day and sees my wallet post it. She's like, you look like a fucking serial killer. <laughs> it was then that I realized that a cork board is the difference between organized and insane. <laughs> if you just have notes and maps and people's routes to work stuck to your wall, you're a fucking stalker. But if you have a cork board behind it, you're tidy. So you're gonna, you're gonna kill somebody and map it out, get a cork board. That's what we're, we learn. I like to drink. I love to drink. If you drink as much as I do, you should only buy yellow sheets. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like the only adult. I live in a pet-friendly pet apartment, and I have that pet bullet stain removal, and people will come over and be like, where's the dog? I'm like, no, it's for Saturdays. It's fine. <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> pet, pet to put down the pet deposit. <laughs> In case I pass out in the hallway again. I've already gotten fine for that a couple times. I love drinking. I come from a family of drinkers. My, actually, my black side of the family is my fun side of the family, unfortunately, because they live all the way in Chicago. But every summer when I'm back in Chicago, we have a luau, which is great because there's nothing Hawaiian about it. There's just a box of Lay's in the corner of the patio, and you can put one on if you want. 
And uh, my, uh, my uncle is really, really bad. He drinks a lot. And one day he was, he was leaving the house. He was going to go pick up some more booze. And he comes back with a gash across his forehead. And we're like, what happened to you? He's like, man, I was finishing my empty bottle on the way to liquor store. Go to chuck it out the window. Fucking window was up. <laughs> like, she'll come back and knock me in the face. So I was just laughing my ass off. I'm like, how fucked up would that be if you go to just leisurely chuck something out the window and it just knocks you? <laughs> Wake the, wake the alcoholic out of you right there. Yeah, you've done that many a times. I've heard somebody say many a times. Is this a thing that people do often? I didn't know that. This guy right here. What? Really? Yeah, he said it. That explains it. The two thumbs up that don't even match each other in level explain everything. I can tell you have all your, all your brain cells, it's good. <laughs> Anyone ever pinched a baby because they didn't want to hold it anymore? <laughs> Super guilty, I've, I've, pinched some, I've pinched some babies. I don't want to hold your kid at a party. Like, I, don't, I don't look like I want to, and after five minutes, coming back to you crying, and that's just how it's gonna be. I don't know, I don't hate babies. Sometimes I look at little girls and I'm like, oh, you're gonna have jizz all over your face one day. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this guy just closed his eyes and this lady just nodded like this. Like, you guys were saying a, a blessing to like some child you know somewhere. Like, you give money to Africa and you're like, no, not that baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you guys are ready to go home, aren't you? I'll hug you after the show. I'll, I'll give you some sort of... Yay! Yay? Hugs! Free hugs. Oh, man. Good stuff. I, I, I come from Chicago where we have public transportation. You guys use the trains here and stuff. I really miss the trains. There was one day that I was riding the train and the doors part at the stop and this guy comes on the train coming right at my face going like this. I'm looking around, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Nobody else would help me, because it's happening to me. Nobody else cares. <laughs> Finally, he steps on the train, and he just goes, oh. He had a, he had a weird yawn. This. <laughs> if you're over 35 and you yawn that fucked up, you better cover your mouth when you get on a train. That was the first day I was like, zombies are real. <laughs> and this is the day where I'm going to, this is the hell ride train ride where I get my half my face eaten. I'm gonna be an 80 year old woman rocking on my porch being like, wow, kids, that's uh, the train ride of 2012 where I lost half my face. I don't know, people are crazy. Uh, anyone ever been to LA here? Clap if you have, no? <laughs> Clap if you liked it. The woman in the random Christmas sweater just starts laughing. Is, is that a Christmas? I can't tell what it is. It looks like it is. It's beautiful. It's a what? Oh, better. <laughs> Winner! It's not a Christmas tree. That's a unicorn's face. How dare you? How dare you talk? Only in Canada, I swear. It was so weird getting off the, off the flight here, and there's every job that a Mexican would have in LA, an Asian person has here. <laughs> yeah, right? They were, I, I was shocked. I didn't even know what to say when I was ordering coffee. They were asking me stuff, and there's something about a chip in your card. What is this, a Canada thing where you have a chip, yeah. chip in your card? Yeah. That's the one thing you guys are updated on. We don't have that shit yet. Mm -mm. No, we don't have that. No, we don't. <laughs> I don't know what kind of elitist people you're hanging out with, but I don't have no picture on my credit. Uh, women in LA really bug me. I walked into this LA coffee shop the other day that's supposed to be like all the rage. And I walked up to the girl, the cashier, and I was like, what do you guys have here that's good? I'm really hungry. She's like, well, our soup, our soup is so good. I was like, no, I'm, I'm really hungry though. And she's like, well, our hummus is good. I'm like, 
I'm not LA hungry, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> what do you have with meat, cheese, and grease on it? There was this, uh, I was sitting at a restaurant too the other day and this girl had a chihuahua on her lap and the owner comes up to her and she's like, ma'am, you can't have a dog in the restaurant. She goes, yes, I can. I have a certification that says that this dog is for emotional support. People can actually have this. <laughs> you can have a dog with you at all times for emotional support. It's like, bitch, I don't care about your daddy issues. Get your dog's asshole away from me for my fish tacos. Wait for my fish tacos. I'm getting drunk, guys. I needed a drink all day, and now the first one I have is just hitting me. This isn't, this is just actually coffee, guys. It's really just co coffee with a straw and tequila, tequila coffee. Uh, I was working out next to this girl the other day on a treadmill, and she was drinking smart water, and I was drinking smart water. Do you guys have smart water here? Smart water. She was, it was like the floodgates of hell open. She was like, oh my God, smart water? You drink smart water? I love smart water. I don't, I don't even need to eat food anymore. Smart water gives me all my vitamins and minerals. I don't even understand how Fiji and Evian and Aquafina are still around. Smart water is all that you fucking need. Smart water, smart water, smart water. Finally, I was like, bitch, how smart do you think this water is? It was dumb enough to get caught in that bottle. <laughs> the smart water you're referring to is in Fiji, and Aquafina and Evian are wearing thongs sitting on his lap. I'm gonna close out on this. Uh, being from the Midwest, I love a good push-up bra. And women in LA are really obsessed with their boobs, you know? But uh, sometimes a man will remove said bra and his registered disappointment will, uh, <laughs> will uh, you know, be really heart-wrenching. So I've devised a solution. I'm gonna start stuffing my bras with pot and sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so at least for guys pissed off by my cup size, he gets a good buzz and a snack out of the deal. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm Natasha Pearl Hansen. Natasha Pearl Hansen, ladies and gentlemen, let her know. Keep it going. Told you she was funny. <laughs>